Hello, welcome to another Reds Pro video. This video is going to cover our homepage slideshow uh, auto suggest and quick search form uh, edits. Everybody keeps asking, how do you edit this? Where do you edit this? So this video is going to cover this. It should be about five minutes long. It shouldn't take too long to go and cover this information with you. So first of all, uh, how does this stuff get in here? What is it? Where is it? Well, we are using a slider called Slider Revolution, as you can see up here in my admin dropdown, also known as Revolution Slider. Uh, so, for example, the reason we use this slider as opposed to Layer Slider or, or any other slider is because it has this really great static global layer right here. So, no matter what slideshow images that you may have that you want to slide around through the background or throughout the rest of your presentation here, you can always have a static layer. And you can use this for other things even if you don't want to use the quick search. All right, so this is a little bit about that. So let's jump over here. We're going to click on the demo too, which I've already done. Popped it open here. And the very first thing that we're going to look at here is when we open to edit the demo too that I've selected is we have all of these images that we can change out. So obviously if you're not happy with the images that we've preloaded for you, this is where you would swap these images out. The information in the uh, city list here, the property type, you know, we call it property type. Maybe yours is type of property. It can be also uh, just type or subtype or some other name, and you'll need to match that up. Same thing for the city list here. As you can see, this is a long list. I'm not even sure what city this or what market this came from. I think this was uh, Miris, M R I S. And uh, the auto suggest. So, you know, where do you put in uh, the fields and modify this auto suggest, and where do you do the template? All right, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the revolution slider. And once you click on your edit the global static layer section, you'll need to scroll down this page until you get to this where you can see this. Now, just because you see this here, you're going to click on it and you're not you're still not going to be able to edit this because they really do a dumb way of doing this. They, it, you'll notice here if I click out here in the middle of this and you scroll down, you'll see, well, where do I edit this thing? Where's the HTML? And if you click it, you still don't know, but you'll notice that it does add a pencil there. Now, if I double click the box down here, you'll notice that it now puts an HTML uh, window in here with all the the HTML. Unfortunately, like I said, it's a dumb way of doing it. It uh, doesn't give us a corner to pull this down and expand this, so we're really stuck with this little tiny, tiny window to work with. And what I recommend is taking and doing, you know, clicking in here, doing a Control A, Control C, and copy this out so that you can easily see what you're editing, and 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 that'll make it go much easier for you. All right, well, what I wanted to show you really quickly is um, that is where you do your edit. And so if you got HTML stuff that you need to do, and I'm just going to quickly, there's your, you can see the city list is right here. You'll need to edit out, swap out your cities. Uh, property type, if you've got a, a different field name, basically anything that says name. Okay, so the name is what is the database column. So if, if I've got it mapped as property type, but you call it something else, you'll need to change that. And if you have different values other than residential lot land, usually lot land can be something different, just even land. Um, sometimes commercial can be commercial slash industrial. So you will need to match up your existing fields that your database has, and that's in other videos, but you'll need to match up your city list as well. And I think, and the same thing when you get down here to beds and baths, just like when you do your beds and baths, you need to make sure at the very uh, end here that you have, as you can see here, here's a name, name again. So anything where you see that right there, you'll need to change that to match what you've got uh, that you've mapped your data to. All right, so that's enough about that. So let's just jump over and talk about where is the auto suggest. Uh, stuff like this right here. So like where does this information get designed and laid out? This is the other question everybody has. Where can I style this and change this information? Well, that's going to be in the actual template folder. And we're going to go ahead and bring that over here. I'm going to just slide this FileZilla over here. 
And what I've got here is a root directory. This is the root directory of this uh, subdomain I'm working on. And you can see there's your content where your plugin folder would be. And this is the folder that you need to be in right here. It's wpradmin. Uh, not dot. <laughs> it's wpradmin. And uh, double click on that. You're going to click on the template folder here. And this particular folder is called infold, is the one that I'm using on this particular project that I've named. It'll, it'll be whatever you have chosen or you have created. But when you log into this folder here, where your templates are, you're going to need to go down and you're going to need to look for the auto suggest form and the auto suggest result. And I'm going to go ahead and open these. And I'm going to drag these over here. OK, so as you can see, um, we have a auto suggest. And you can see, you know, we have the, uh, the real estate team. If it was, you know, if it was a, a broker site and you had real estate agents and whatever. And then this is the real estate listings part that you see in the auto suggest, uh, templated auto suggest. So this is the drop down. So if you wanted to modify any of this or say, for example, uh, you needed to change bass total again. That's something else for your display. If you're missing your square footage, maybe you need to match your square footage field to, to what you've mapped it to. But this is where you would modify that. And the same thing for the auto suggest uh, form. Uh, if you want, this is a lot of people ask this question all the time. Where do I change the message? You know, so let me just go back here where it says already know where you're you know what you're searching for blah 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 that is actually located right here and that is in this template called auto suggest form so this is where you're going to be able to change you know what fields uh, are going to be in that display but not actually where the fields are uh, to be searched that's back in the slider revolution up here the top of this here you're going to see our here we go this is the auto suggest box right here. And what you're going to want to make sure is, is that you have MLS address, community or subdivision, condo building name, if that's something you have. And that's really it. Uh, I do want to take a moment just to explain one more thing. The purpose for the auto suggest is to drill down to a single result. I uh, cannot tell you how many times people ask me, hey, can I add zip code or city? It is not for a thousand results return because it is just like the caption says, already know what you're searching for, meaning do you already know the listings address, the MLS number, or at least the, the subdivision or the condo building it's in? so that you can drill down to just a handful of listings, not hundreds or thousands of listings. That's not what it's made for. It's, it is, its sole purpose is to drill down to a single property. All right, well, that's going to cover uh, the location and where you edit that part of it. So anyone wanting to know how or where to edit the homepage slideshow uh, auto-suggest and quick search, now you know.